everyone, uh, welcome back to Eager Goodness Beaver. Uh, D Minus and I are about to start another little project. We have the leftover shiplap pieces that we use on our wall, and we are going to start just testing some stains and paints that we bought, stains that we had in the past, uh, some mis tints that we purchased, and also some new paint. So, we are going to try an array of things and see if we can create this D Minus's wall of fun some rags to apply things with, paintbrush, tongue oil, linseed oil. We have a golden oak, that's three of these. Red trim clad, golden oak, which I just mentioned, summer oak, white trim clad, which we have lots done already for our ceiling, from our ceiling, and three different versions of paint. I'm strong. Hulk smash! Okay, the number one we're going with, it's probably going to be washed out, but it's a Bombay mahogany stain. Anyway, my fingers, I need some gloves. Numero uno! It's only a rough guide, we just want to get an idea. We want to get an idea for what this is going to look like, because there's nothing worse than having a stain that you absolutely hate. Orange stain! Okay, second, we are going to be using tongue oil. 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 Let's just be a little crazy here. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That's not the way you're supposed to apply this stuff. I'll allow it. Yeah, it's absorbing. It, it may not look like it's absorbing much, but you can feel a sheen. A little more for good measure here. I'm gonna make sure I get a lot on here. I mess around. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> Shh. That's a little bit. That's way too much tongue oil to be putting on there, but I guess let's see how this is going to turn out. Linseed oil. Call that sort of done for now. Red trim clad. Improper stirring implement. Improper stirring implement. There we go. We're going to say this one's done because it's never going to be able to be used. Golden oak. We have like three of these with not much left in them. We're just trying them out to see if they're going to be able to make it. Oh, oh, oh that splinter. <laughs> okay. Not properly distributed, but I think we get the idea. Oh, this is a golden oak too. I thought it was just the single stuff. I thought it looked familiar. This is the golden oak one more time with a different company. Just some polyurethane. These 
were a bunch of paint thinner with um, the trem clad leftover paint and then I poured in a little of the <laughs> this green paint just to see what would happen. It globbed up but when it came uh, off the brush it sort of like brushes in into a weird pattern which I sort of like. So just so we remember. So I have four paints left to apply. We have just a plain white uh, that we used on the wall and some ceiling, another trim. And we also have uh, two shades of blue and uh, two shades of green. So lighter green, a little different than one another, and we're gonna see how those work out as well. What the heck? Stirring them, making sure that they're not too thick, and they apply easily. There's actually more three shades of green. There's only the blue one, but there's a tiny bit of blue in there. That do? No. This is the what's it called? Castle Blue. This is sort of nice. Alright, I am on to Crystal Oasis kind of a bluish green tone. Uh, so with the three of the four paints that we have, we are also going to dilute them with some white paint just to see uh, the difference in the hue. Uh, so this is Crystal Oasis uh, diluted. Um, a little bit lighter. Uh, the reason why we're not doing all four is that uh, one of the paint cans was actually a mist tint that I bought and it is so similar to this one. So if we like this one and we like it in the mix, then I think that we are safe to, if we want an ununiform uh, wall, then I think we're safe to use both tones and go from there. work is that we are finished the first part of this pr little project. We have colors that are we're going to take a peek at and decide on the final uh, two walls that we have left in our tiny house. Our next project that we have to take on is D- and I have to look at our amount of shiplap that we have for the remaining two walls. We need to uh, make sure that we have enough and then start deciding on the color combinations that we have used in this preliminary part of this project. Basically making sure that we like all the stains and colors and move this project forward. We've been working or kind of deciding and debating going back and forth so it's uh, finally nice to have all of these colors and stains ready to look at to make those final decisions and get these walls done.